welcome back so today I'm gonna be doing a haul I'm gonna be sharing what I purchased and the stuff this is kind of just to tell you what I'm gonna be reviewing or working with or using and so you can get some ideas of my next couple of either tutorials or reviews or anything along those lines this is just so you guys can see what I have purchased and I want to share with you guys and I want you guys to know what's coming next so I went to a couple of places so the one that I have here is Bath and Body Works okay so obviously this stuff I'm not gonna be like doing any makeup or stuff or reviews but I did want to share with you some of the scents that I'm gonna be using during the fall and actually They've been having really good sales at Bath and Body Works. On um, Labor Day, they had an awesome sale for candles, and unfortunately, I missed it. However, I did see some of the scents that they had, and I wasn't really that crazy about those scents. It's mostly candles, guys. So, not too fun, but kind of fun, right? Hey, babe, can you pass me the other bag, please? Blah, blah, blah. The, the other bag. Okay, so so the scent that I, the scent that I'm gonna start with, the candle that I'm gonna start with is the caramel pumpkin swirl. This is what we're currently burning, and honestly, I feel like these candles last a really long time. But every time I turn one of these on, it's crazy because my sister-in-law will come in here. She's like, "Hmm, what smells good?" <laughs> so this time I, it is the caramel pumpkin swirls. Like I said. It just smells so good. And you guys, I got these for like 10 bucks. At it when they're like Ooh, something always happens. <laughs> they're usually 24.50. Excuse if you can hear my pooch barking at, or my sister-in-law's pooch. She also has a pooch. Um the next one is going to be the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. That's funny, that's cute because Marshmallow is my sister-in-law's dog. Okay, so then I also ordered from the Morphe website. So I placed an order as soon as the Jacqueline Hill palette came out. So I bought the Volt. As soon as as soon as it went on sale, I was probably one of the first persons to check out. Just because last time with her other palette, I had to wait for the second restock or the second release. So this time, I kind of wanted to make sure that I had mine. And the shipping was insane. But I mean, it was expected, but it would just took a lot longer than I ex I expected. And so, yeah, I got the all uh, the whole Volt collection. Um, I wish I would have got that little bolt, the, the little mini bolt. So I'm going to open these up so you guys can see what they look like. I haven't even swatched these. So let's, let's see. Let's swatch together. Oh, they're so cute. I really have not touched these, you guys, like at all. None of them. None of them have been even played with. I was really holding off to make this video so I can do it with you guys because I thought that would be exciting I don't know why I don't know why I think these things so this purple one oh my gosh it looks so pretty you guys that is really cute that's really nice and so that was gem I'm gonna do bling 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 you guys it's really pretty it's really close to my skin tone but just a little bit more like brownie or even pinky I would say and lastly for this palette I'll do a matte I'll do rockstar oh that hurts. That that hurts. That that Matt didn't swatch the way that I wanted to. We'll see. 
we'll see what happens. The next one that I'm going to show you guys is Ring the Alarm. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, hundreds of times, of course. Again. So. Oh my god, I almost nicked it. Again, haven't touched any of these. This is actually the palette. I originally was only going to get one or two. And I was like, at the most, three. But since I was like, okay, three, might as well just get the fourth one. Why not, right? Um, okay, so then again, I'm going to do on camera. Right there. And I'll do the matte. That's alert. Hey, that one came out okay. Not too mad at that one. And I want to do... Let's do mugshot. Just because mats are amazing. Hey, that does also look pretty good. Okay, let's see what else we have. This one is Armed and Gorgeous. Armed and Gorgeous. So I'll do VIP. I'm running out of swatching places. Ooh, that is so cute. And I'll do coin. Ooh, coin, yes. It's so cute. Oh my god, I have to wear that one tomorrow. <laughs> and another mat. Let's do top secret. I know that I'm only doing three per palette, but there's a lot of colors. And okay, so I think <laughs> Dark Magic was the one that a lot of people were saying that just it didn't work for them. We'll do shh. That's a really light color, honestly. It's the color that we swatched right there. Oh. And I'm gonna do busted. Busted. Ooh, busted. And right there. And I will do trickery. Wow. I did not have a problem with trickery. Okay. You guys are so cute. Okay, Okay, I'm going to show you the brushes that I got. Some of them have already been used and then others I haven't even touched. Um, okay, so I got the M330, the M330. I got the M53. I got the 441. And I got the E22, I promise. I got the Y15. I got the M505, and then I got this one right here. This is the M562. Honestly, guys, this is so cute. Look at how little it is. It's cute. Hopefully, I love it. Um, and I think that's all I got with the the Morphe, the online Morphe purchase. Since I'm already doing online purchases, um, another thing that I got is the Juno and Co. Okay, so for the eyelashes, I don't know what number these are, but I got these ones and I tried these on already. They're just falling, so. Can you see this? Can you see me? Can you see me? Yep. Can you see me? These are called DW. These are number seven. Focus. 
These are 307. These are kind of harder to focus. There you go. These are really um, voluming. That's the word. I don't know what happened to my number eights. They're missing. I don't know where I left them. I don't even remember using them. Number ones. These ones, I have to review all of these lashes, but these most likely, they're going to be like a hard don't get them just because it looks like these are not going to mold to your eyes because they can't even stay in the container that they're supposed to be in so we'll have to see because these are these look like they're going to be the ones that lift up from your eyes and we do not need that type of drama in our lives and then i have the number 805s And I have the number twos. So all of these were a dollar each. Um, and they look like a little they look like little lollipops and they have a lot an a lie. <laughs> they have an eye in the back. These ones right here are four dollars and they're really nice. They say that they're 3D lashes, but they honestly don't look like 3D lashes. They come in like this container that looks like a little diamond. It's really cute. They're cute, huh? Okay, so those were all the lashes. and That was everything that I got from Juno. Okay, you guys, the next place is Ulta's Beauty. Ulta Beauty. And... I got a this is just a basic white eyeshadow base I've used their skin tone and it creases so I decided to try it in white just to see if I liked it better or if I can actually get a little bit more creative with that and then the next thing that I have in here is the Mario Badesco uh, the facial spray it's a cucumber and green tea and you guys this smells so amazing I love the way that it smells we're gonna put them on I know why I sprayed my chin. Leave it to Jessica. And then I got the BH Studio Pro Concealers in Total Coverage. I got it, I got one in white, and then I got the other one in 104. So I felt like the other ones were too pink, too too light, so I went with the number four. And just in case it's too dark, I also got the white one. But like I said, I like being creative with like white concealers and white primers. So let's see if I have any use for this or not. And so lastly, what I got from Ulta, the last thing is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I got two of them, and I has talked about these in my favorites how I had finished my other ones so I bought these new ones I bought what well, was buy one get one 50% off so I decided to just take both since I really I already know that I really liked it the last thing is Morphe <laughs> I know two Morphe's so I'm a shopaholic you guys so the first thing I have in here is a Morphe. So I went on Labor Day. So I thought because it was 20% off a couple of palettes. It was like nine things that were on sale. Um, I thought that this was on sale because it was right next to the stuff that were on sale. Turns out that once she rings me up, I ask her, okay, so I was like, so how much did the palette come out? to be and she's like oh that one wasn't on sale so I had already paid for it so I was like okay let's just go so and there's a Morphe store like 20 minutes away from my house like 20 minutes but 30 how far is the Morphe store it's like 20 minutes 25 
so 20 to 25 minutes so yeah my husband spoils me so this okay so so this is this is the palette that I chose so I got the pointy one and I also got the regular usual blue beauty blender the highlight and contour one and this one just says pro so I have the Y19 I have the M224 I have the E17 I got R39 M705 R37 R37 so this is the one that I like really been wanting to get because I hear that I've heard a lot about it I heard that it's really good for highlighting and it is the M510 MB46 Y17 M441 M573 and then I got a liquid uh, liquid lipstick yes I did get a liquid lipstick but this is a, a lip liner and I got it in shade Linda I didn't even swatch it I was just like it looks like a pretty color on the box and Linda is the owner of Morphe so hey is Linda the owner of Morphe okay so I got two liquid lipsticks I got hot shot and taunt and the red one was like I have to have it like it's just beautiful so hopefully it wears all day and hopefully it's it looks really nice so I feel like oh I have I have two more things in here I have the um, brow cream and almond and the brow cream in hazelnut And that is so hopefully you guys liked this video that's all I had to show you for today um, hopefully you guys have a good idea of what I'm gonna do next and what's coming next for my channel uh, I know that my settings I need to fix my settings to where I can it can autofocus better so I'm gonna have my husband play with the settings a little bit um, so that when I'm trying to show you stuff it just auto focuses and I don't have such a hard time I know my quality my video quality isn't gonna be the greatest at the beginning I'm gonna struggle a little bit but hang in there you guys hopefully you guys like this haul um, please do comment and interact with me in the comments um, I really do want to get to see what you guys have to say if you guys want to private message me private message me if you're not comfortable with commenting commenting oh can't even speak English right now I just need to go to bed already um, <laughs> and yeah so I have lots of more video ideas and hopefully you guys can stick around and subscribe and comment and all that fun good stuff thumbs up my videos um, or thumbs them down if you hate them, I guess. If you don't like my videos, I can't force you to thumbs them up. But you can at least comment, right? Something. Can I get something from you guys? <laughs> um, yeah. That's it for this video. I'm done. <laughs> Bye.